If your HP DeskJet 3634 printer does not print or stops unexpectedly and the printer control panel displays an alternating E and 3 and the resume light and ink alert light blink, you have a carriage jam. The jam must be cleared before normal printing can resume. Paper and foreign objects in the printer can cause carriage jams. Remove any jammed paper and objects in the input and output trays, the ink cartridge access area, and underneath the printer. A flashlight is required for this step. Press the cancel button to attempt to clear the jam automatically. If the error persists, remove all paper from the input tray, including both loose and jammed paper. If possible, use two hands to remove any jammed sheets of paper. Lift and hold the input tray shield and shine a flashlight into the printer. Remove any remaining paper or foreign objects. With the flashlight, check the output tray area for any other jammed paper or objects. Remove any paper or objects found. If possible, use two hands to remove the jam. Close the output tray extender. Open the exterior door and then the ink cartridge access door. Wait until the carriage is idle and silent before you continue. Go to the rear of the printer. With the printer powered on, disconnect the power cord and then disconnect the USB cable if connected. You must disconnect the power cord before reaching in the printer to avoid risk of injuries or electric shock. Return to the front of the printer. If the carriage is in the ink cartridge access area, gently push it all the way to the left. Remove all paper and bits of paper from the carriage path. Shine a flashlight into the ink cartridge access area to make sure no bits of paper remain. Close the ink cartridge access door and then close the exterior door. Lower the paper input tray. With one hand holding the scanner lid, rotate the printer to its rear to access underneath. Still holding the scanner lid, push down the two tabs on the cleanout door. Remove any jammed paper found. Close the cleanout door by pushing it forward until the two tabs snap into place. Rotate the printer to its normal upright position. Open the exterior door and then the ink cartridge access door. Look inside the printer for any loose objects that might have shifted when moving the printer. Remove any paper or objects you find. Close the ink cartridge access door and then the exterior door. Go to the rear. Reconnect the power cord and then reconnect the USB cable if one was previously connected. Return to the front. The printer should automatically power on. If it does not, press the power button. Raise the input tray. Load paper into the input tray and adjust the guide. Try to print your document. If there is still a carriage jam error on the printer, Continue to the next step. Improper placement or installation of the cartridges can cause the carriage to jam. Remove and reinstall the ink cartridges to clear any jams. Make sure the printer is powered on. Open the exterior door and then the ink cartridge access door. Wait until the carriage is idle and silent before you continue. Press down on the tricolor cartridge to release it and then remove it from the printer. Do not touch the copper-colored contacts or ink nozzles. This can result in clogs, ink failure, and bad electrical connections. Press down on the black cartridge to release it, and then remove it from the printer. Reinstall the tricolor ink cartridge. Hold the cartridge by its sides and slide it into the left slot at an upward angle until it snaps into place. Reinstall the black ink cartridge into the right slot. 
close the ink cartridge access door, and then the exterior door. Try to print your document again. If there is still a carriage jam error on the printer, continue to the next step. Resetting the printer and plugging the power cord directly into a wall outlet can clear false and real carriage jams. Make sure the printer is powered on. Turn to the rear. With the printer still powered on, disconnect the power cord and USB cable if connected. Unplug the power cord from any power strips or surge suppressors. Wait at least 60 seconds. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Reconnect the other end of the power cord to the rear of the printer and reconnect the USB cable if previously connected. Return to the front. The printer powers on automatically. If it does not, press the power button. Wait until the carriage is idle and silent and then try to print your document again. If there is still a carriage jam error on the printer, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you have owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer.